Hello, how are you? Well, the war between Russia and Ukraine ah, doesn't seem to end soon. In the meantime, uh, other countries, they decided to become this team or belong that team. It's sort of like a, almost like a world war is going to start or something like that, which I'm not very pleased, unfortunately. It's been over 70 years since the last world war finished. Or well, I would say ended. Then uh, people forgot how sad and how wrong uh, outbreaking of the war really is. But, well, I don't know. Among even some areas in Europe, some countries are pro-Russia, some countries are pro-Ukraine. Uh, among Asian countries too, there are some differences, uh, but the main difference is uh, some countries are, you know, anti-Russia, and some of them are anti-Ukraine. And I personally really don't know what this is going in the future. I just do not want to see uh, any more people get killed for no reason. Oh, well. Now, today's uh, idioms are, the first one is to look after. It means to watch over or take care of uh, something or somebody. For example, um, I wonder who would take care of me when I get uh, very old and uh, cannot work anymore. That's scary sometimes. Um, okay. Mm, another sentence. Okay. I used to look after uh, some of my friends, cats, dogs, or a bird while they're away on the vacation. Okay. Of course, uh, I love taking care of animals, but since my apartment, I cannot have any live animals. So I have uh, many plants, so um, I take care of them. But unfortunately, plants do not play with me. They don't move by themselves. They don't respond. Occasionally, if I were successful, <laughs> which is rare, uh, they would uh, show us some flowers. You know, they grow and. Uh, bloom some flowers, that would be nice, but uh, it doesn't happen often. And some of the fruits I have in outside the tree, this year, I don't see any sign of fruit. So last year, of course, I lost the battle getting the fruit against crows. I was rather prepared for this year, but I just don't see any fruit in that tree this year. So maybe I'm not going to have any fruit. But I do have the net cover the fruit, protect them from the crowds outside. But well, life never goes the way you planted, the way you wish. Now, the second idiom is to feel like. It means to be, well, inclined. Well, it means mm, have the desire to do something. 
For example, let's say here. I don't feel like um, eating healthy food for dinner. Meat means, you know, healthy meal, low calorie. Uh, I don't know. Uh, low fat, uh, low, uh, I don't know, sodium, like a salt, something like that. But I feel like eating very rich food. So let's eat out, go to a nice restaurant, something like that. Or I feel like uh, walking around on quiet streets to see hydrangeas and irises tonight, something like that. What do you feel like doing now? Of course, you feel like studying, yes? Okay, that's good. Today's words are Massive, it means um, big and heavy, bulky, uh, large and solid, uh, something like that. For example, let's say, okay, from lifting weights, uh, doing muscle exercises the mr iron man international had uh, built up muscles all over the body my goodness must be heavy another one is let's say okay the main building on the campus it's so massive that the new students usually have trouble finding their way around. At first, I would say, first two weeks to a month. They're there. Uh, wandering around everywhere to find their classroom cafeteria, library, computer room, information center, etc. Because I remember I did that too, uh, my first year at the university because it was so big. Okay, well, I would say it was massive. The word, last word for today is capsule. That's a small kind of like a case or um, coverings or kind of a container. Uh, often we take capsuled medicine, yes, that make, uh, makes it much easier than try swallowing the powdered medicine. Uh, for example, the small capsule contains, uh, let's say, a microfilm uh, which would show the spy hiding places of the world. So that's capsule. Okay, that's all for today. Take care of yourself and see you next time. Bye for now.